hello, hello. I've arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, ghoul. <laughs> you can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Sounds a little bit quiet on my end, but I think that's just my audio settings. I don't, I don't believe uh, anything should have changed on OBS or on my microphone, so I think that's, I just had my volume down a little bit too much. Anyway, hello, hello. Oh yes, so tonight we are anticipating playing a video game, Arknights more specifically. Yeah, I'll try not to spend too, too much time here because we don't have a whole, whole lot of time. Yeah, started a little bit later than I would have liked to, but at least I started it all. Yeah, initially I was, initially I was under the impression that I might not be able to stream at all today, but uh, fortunately that was not true. But yes. So, quick rundown. Today, Arknights. Tomorrow, probably also more Arknights. Yeah, I don't have any reason to believe that I won't be able to stream tomorrow. Um, yeah, we will see. Things are still... Some things are still undetermined. At the very least, things are still... Some things are unknown to me, if nothing else. So yes. So, assuming that we do stream some Arc Nights, let me double check the schedule. Um... Bu -bu -bu -bum. I've had this pulled up already, but oh well. But yes. Tomorrow... Probably around 7.30 we should be beginning. And so, that should be everything that needs to be, needs to be said desperately quickly. I suppose nothing really, really needs to be gone over it all that pressingly, but yeah. I will do my best to stream as much as I can tomorrow, uh, but for now, we have this game to stream now. So, video games, Arknights. But yes, so every year, Arknights does a little uh, April Fool's event. Yeah, it only runs for about a week, and unfortunately most of that week is through already. Yeah, starting on April 1st, of course. So, I want to try to get into this and through it uh, roughly as quickly as we can. As quickly as is reasonable. Not going to go with too much haste, because again, I don't think it should be super necessary. We're going to try to get through at least this year's April Fool's event, and they're usually not too long, so... At least get through this year's, and potentially do some of the previous years before the time is up on those. But yeah, everything else is currently on hold until after I do that. So, let us begin. Streaming, you say? Interesting. Imagine streaming. <clears throat> Here, your bento. <laughs> Click, Sensei, I really can't be mooching off you anymore. You paid the rent for this room, bought this bed for me, and even paid for my meals the last few days. I'm not going to have any dignity left if I keep imposing on your goodwill. You've been saying that since we the first meal I treated you to. Maybe I should be reading these dialogue tags. Accepts the bento. Better than a slightly awkward silence, I suppose. <sighs> that hit the spot. But you're right about one thing. I can't be feeding you for free forever. Like, Sensei, if there's anything you need from me, just say the word. Ever since I was given the boot into souls and my video camera was stolen from me in Akuhala, right up to when I arrived in this nomadic city, nobody's ever been so nice to me. If you're being chased by debt collectors, I promise to help you keep it on the down low. They'll never find you. How long do you plan to stay in hiding? Well, I already gave it my best shot, and I still couldn't cough up the dough. So all I can do is stay hidden for as long as I can. You know, you can't just run away from your problems your whole life. 
Ta-da! Look, I brought you a terminal and some matching gear. And remember the stream rig egg I mentioned to you earlier? You thought it was pretty interesting at the time, right? Now that you have the gear, why don't you give it a try? If everything goes well, you might even get your own loyal fan base and earn a bunch of money. Imagine. R really? I think I could pull that off? Ever since the first time I met you, I always thought you had it in you to become a streamer. Haha, so that's why you left in the first place. I totally get it now. Thanks for your support, everyone. If you like my performance, please leave a little tip. Yes, there's some backstory to this character. I suppose it goes without saying, perhaps. But uh, we will see more of uh, Eureka in later events. Look, that building behind her is on fire. Hurry, run! time I thought to myself, this singer's not half bad. Maybe I should collab with her if I get the chance. The next time I saw you, you were hosting a big sale for some store. The winning number is... number 109. Who's the lucky winner of our cash prize? Ooh, looks like it's this lovely grandma here. Congratulations, congratulations. Please come forward so we can... The old granny tripped and fell. Quick, someone call an ambulance. I remember at the think at thinking at the time, you've got a pretty likable personality, so how'd you end up ending hosting promotional events? Later, I heard you weren't even able to keep those gigs and ended up doing promotions in some shady place. Yeah, little kid, a balloon. Little kid, ha! Do you even have eyes? You're the little kid here. Stop kicking. Please stop kicking. <laughs> uh, she went rear over tea kettle. Uh, what's gotten into you? Hurry in, up and apologize. She wouldn't call me the little kid. I'm leaving. Don't worry about it, but would you mind giving me a hand? I can't get up by myself. No problem. Uh, oh, your collar seems to be stuck in the wall. Let me see if I can give it a little tug. Uh, my neck! It's gonna break! I never knew you'd been following my career for so long. Based on everything I've seen, someone with your abilities and talent should have no problem making a name for yourself on the path to becoming a streamer. That way, at least you won't have to worry about your debts continuing to grow, you won't have to stay in hiding anymore, and you'll have a semblance of stability for the time being. Wow, you've been thinking about me this whole time. Wait, I'm not done yet. I'm going to set off for Rhodes Island right away and report your situation. If all goes well, you'll be able to sign a contract with them, which will give you some long-term stability. Wah, well, <laughs> click sensei, I'm so touched. But, Eureka, your luck, it's awful. Like, seriously. So just chill until you hear news from Rhodes Island. Don't get confused by all the weird stuff on the intercity net. And whatever you do, don't do anything wild. Closed nose. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Alright then, in any case, Nomadic City stops tomorrow. Go ahead and familiarize yourself with how to use the equipment in the intercity net first. Then I'll help you brainstorm ideas of what you might want to stream. Hmm, what would be a good topic? Ah, I've got it. Uh, listen up, Eureka. There's no better live stream material than everything you've seen and heard on your way here. What are you doing? Click Sensei, this is way too much fun. Look, these two streamers are playing online games together and the audience is betting on the outcome. All you need to do is click here. Don't click. Don't click. Click. Telling us to not click. All right. So, I don't really know what's going on here, to be honest. Camera skills. Level, level one. Each time a live stream is completed, camera skills plus one. Redeployment time reduced. Snap chance to fail is reduced. Snap costs less SP. Snap chance to fail is reduced. Is it? 
Yes, it does in fact say that twice. Ah, I guess that's for different tiers. But yes. Attempts to record interesting clips for storage in the footage library. However, there's a 30% chance that the shooting will fail, stunning and preventing retreating for 3.5 seconds. Live stream tasks. Finish one live stream. I did that yesterday. Finish two live streams. I'll do that today. So on and so forth. UO training one. A glimpse into the Grand Knight territory. Nice to be streaming again, I must admit. If you want to find content to stream, you can't go wrong by starting from your own experiences. I've been to Cosmiras' Grand Night Territory before, and that place is never lacking in content. The Grand Night Territory. I've heard there are a bunch of hotties there. Is that true? Let's worry about the hotties later. For now, try deploying yourself somewhere first and shooting some street scenes with the passerby. Tap here to get ready to start shooting. Once your skill is ready, you can film passerby and use them as material to chat with your audience in future streams. Nice. The person you're filming right now is a competition knight, and while their armor looks pretty cool, you'll see this kind of stuff. Yeah. You see this kind of stuff so often, it's hard to say what kind of response it'll get. Does that mean I need to find some major celebs? Like, I have the resources for that. Don't be discouraged. You never know what big names will pop up. That's a fun little no. graphic there. See that office worker over there reading the newspaper? He seems pretty ordinary, right? But he, he also looks like he has quite the story to tell. Maybe he's exactly the sort of celebrity we need. I don't know what kind of story I'll be able to get out of him, but he's just the type, type of stud I've been wanting to film. And what are you waiting for? Tap here to start shooting. All right, we have acquired a second photo. This material is excellent. The primary subject looks quite unique, but you could even call it rare footage. In addition to these unique characters, some passerby will have interesting interactions. Capturing those scenes will also give you rare footage. Unlike ordinary footage, rare footage is guaranteed to get the desired response during the stream, which is important for keeping things running smoothly. You can check the live footage you've collected here. Newspaper reading passerby. Mediocre photo. Fair enough. Hmm. Am I to take another photo? I suppose that gives us uh, a different result than what we've already had. More photos is always for the best, I would assume. Who is this mysterious character walking into frame? That woman sure has a larger than life aura around her. Did she be one of those random celebrities popping up you mentioned, Click Sensei? That's none other than Lady, Lady Viviana, the Candle Knight. I can't believe she's here. Well, what are we waiting for then? Let's get filming. Well, it seems that we might need to wait a little bit longer. Now that, that individual seems to have something interesting going on with them. Hold up. Look over there. She's being tailed by some shady fellow. He might be up to no good, or at least he's definitely in a bad mood. If you film a nasty person like that, the footage will be worthless for sure, so be careful. Alright, got it, Click Sensei. I'll avoid the nasties and focus on the hotties. Uh, also, after the countdown ends, your live stream session will begin. If you feel like you've collected enough footage, you can also tap here and immediately end your filming. When you're filming for real, it's best to collect at least eight pieces of footage before starting your stream. Otherwise, you won't be able to download things the usual way once you start. Alright, go ahead and try to grab some content. If you want to change in scenery, just redeploy yourself on over. Okay, I figured as much. Alright, Candle Knight captured. All right, and then once the other fellow gets out of the way, then we can take one more photo of this fellow. 
this non-specific competition night. There we are. All right, I believe we are done here. I'm up. All right, please return to the main event page and head to the official stage to start streaming. All right, how do I how do I do that? Ah, I guess I have to play an actual stage, don't I? All right, banished Akahua. A blood pressure spiking sorrowful season two. But yeah, we're definitely seeing a lot of places that are featured in other events. Ayo Bay, nice. Can I? Or do I? There we go. Hmm. Less than ideal, but I suppose this will this will do. All right. And now, a photo of our dear and beloved dog. Nice. Hmm. I might have been a little bit hasty there. There seems to be something about to go on with these fellows. Moving up towards the top here. Ah, they've gotten into a fight. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, but I don't have time, or I don't have the skill necessary to photograph them just yet. I suppose what I'm doing is recording. Hmm. Alright, so this is less than ideal. I suppose probably what I should have done is I should have started, uh... Because, yeah, Keo Bay definitely doesn't seem inclined to go anywhere. But yeah, I should have started with some of the normal results on the bottom, perhaps. And then, yeah, maybe redeploy to catch Keo Bay later. But yes, the mysterious machine on the bottom is also catching my eye. But will it walk into my field of view? Hmm. Maybe... Yeah, okay, no, it will not... Uh, I was a little bit concerned. I was a little bit concerned. That it might... Uh, I might have jumped the gun there a little bit and that it would walk up into my field of view. But uh, it would seem not. Unfortunately, Eureka is uh, constitutionally incapable of turning around. Hmm... We'll see if we can get a better view of something somewhere, somehow. But I think we might need to do this over again if we want to get particularly good results. These two seem to be having some sort of meaningful interaction. Yeah, Keo Bay really doesn't seem to have been in much of a mood to go much of anywhere. So I probably didn't need to concern myself with her as early as I did. Alright. I might as well... I don't... Hmm. No, that was a little bit pasty also. Um... Well, we'll see if I can at least get uh, some more material. No. It would seem. <laughs> no, I can't. Alright. This, however, seems like a great opportunity. Nice. Alright, we have acquired eight uh, subjects of information. Or of filming. Well, that should be something. Alright. So do I have to... I don't need to need... I don't need to select these, it would seem like. Mediocre photo. Arrow in waiting. Interracial harmony friendly boxing match. Wine tasting bus. War of thick versus thin. Full metal surfing instructor. Sit. Ah, despite the fact that we've not streamed, we've got uh, at least. Uh, what's that? Yeah, at least 10 followers, so that's nice.
Hello viewers, long time no see, did you miss me? If you did, make sure to tune into my streams. <laughs> thanks for the thanks yeah, thank you for the support, my friends. Now then, take a look at the footage I've so meticulously prepared for you all. The first step is to build the confidence to renege your debts, to believe that you can shake off the debt collectors hot on your tail. Uh sorry, that's the wrong one. I'll show you guys the real stuff right away. Alright. Uh, I suppose we'll go with something good first. But a pair of good friends. That Durin hasn't even taken a single hit. Yeah, do we... Yes, we do need to select one at a time. Okay. Isn't this one of those surfing instructors from Zeratzutsa that can't... Yeah. Zer... Zeratz... Hmm. Zeratzutsa that can't float? Why is it here? That mushroom looks delicious. It's gotta be honey biscuit flavored. Wait, what am I thinking? Tail thickness? I've, worried, I've never worried about my tail before. I'm not worried about those three passengers. What if the driver is also drunk? No way, right? Uh, start with Kea Bay. We love Kea Bay around here. This pair once ate a whole loaf of bread. That's right, Akiko. It's said that Akahala mushrooms shouldn't be eaten willy-nilly. Any of them are poisonous, so eating one will not only turn your up insides upside down, you'll also you'll even see a bunch of illusory guys. I actually tried it once myself, and I saw myself surrounded by eight burly men, each holding a bank's payments a bank's payment reminder. Alright. Everybody loves uh <laughs> Eureka's uh strange dreams. Hello to all our new friends. Welcome to the Daily Ferrera Photo Parade. All you guys something. And I saw something super hyper, super duper hyper interesting. I saw doing and hello, can you hear me? Can you still not hear me? What's going on? I'll just grab some photos for everyone to see. So yeah, so it does seem that we are in fact taking photos. And so yeah, so we've got a meter for revenue and I didn't see what the other ones were. Oh, okay. So I'm just realizing now that some of these have arrows pointing up and some of them have arrows pointing down. So probably we don't want to uh, lose too much of anything in particular. So let's see, let's see these two people beating each other up. That should be fun for the stream. We need more hamster and all that. Don't focus on their height distance, but rather they're fighting back and forth. Look at that solid posture. He's about to eat the, hit that Archosauria's knee. Knee smashing boxing technique. Pressure and response stream revenue. Okay. Uh, I feel like everyone here isn't lively enough already. Uh, should I sing a song? Uh, Yahoo! Hey, Summer! Ah. Ah. It's hard for me to keep up with this whilst doing the voice. <sighs> you bet it might... Better not see anything anymore and just show you another photo. Uh, Alright. So yeah, I'm assuming that running out of any of these would probably be bad. So, uh... Let's see, this will have impacts on pressure. But uh, we don't know what impact it will have on pressure. Pressure seems like a thing that would be bad if it is unnecessarily high. So maybe we should... Uh, be more careful managing that. Let's see the surfing instructor first. That will up the response, I think it was, and decrease the revenue. Apparently the paying fans are not a fan of this, uh, <laughs> this machine. Ah, super chat. This is a Duran made robot surfing instructor. You guys don't believe me? Look at the towel on its head and the surfboard in its hands. Even that whistle on its neck. Virtually perfect except for the fact that it can't float. As for how they teach you surfing, if they can't, they'll just give you a punch until you do. Alright. I have responded to the super chat in some way. You want me to stream Barrage Fortress? What is that, a game? I've never heard of this game before, but I'll definitely try it out next time, I promise. Pressure increased, fan response decreased, stream revenue increased. Hmm. 
<laughs> Thank you for all the support, my friends. Now then, take a look at the footage I've so meticulously prepared for you all. Alright, we've seen this before. So can I... No. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it doesn't seem as though there is a way to just sort of skip to the next thing. So we will have to take this uh, as it comes, I suppose. But yeah, this will reduce pressure somewhat, so that could be good. Revenue is also nice. Inhabitants of Aquala often bicker over the thickness of their tails and sometimes get into fights over it, which is also a part of their custom. I hear rumors of their revered spiritual leader being part of the Thick Tail faction. They're even planning over thinking of it. Yeah. What, my tail? Don't ask such a useless question. It's classified information. I can probably find an archive of this, uh, of these, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? These lines somewhere. <laughs> Thank you for the support, my friends. Now then, let's take a, th take a look at the footage I've so meticulously prepared for you all. Yes, I should probably be responding to these super chats, maybe. You know, I just I just noticed the little alien creature in uh, U Official's uh, little speech bubble there. So this is the last thing that we can do that will give us a guaranteed response. Uh, these mediocre photos are just gonna do whatever. Uh, I don't even take this. This is such an ugly. No, no, no. no. What I mean is, my footage kind of sucks, but it's all full of intrigue. How exactly, you ask? <laughs> uh, I feel like everyone here isn't lively enough. Alright, so we've got two more photos that are random, and we've got one more photo that is something. We've also got super chats that we can do to do something. So yeah, that last one, I think it it decreased everything except for stream revenue, I believe. So we'll see how this uh, treats us. Oh, wow, look at this, guys. This is when I was... Um, no, this is um, this, this is just too good a photo, right? <laughs> uh, thank you, Farah. What an elegant name. Just hearing it makes me feel at ease. It feels just like, like I'm talking to an older sister. All right, we've perhaps uh, avoided a pressure catastrophe. But yes, we definitely... I mean, we're definitely not uh, maxed out on pressure, at the very least. I don't think so, anyway. So, hopefully, this next photo will not uh, destroy us. I want corn. I love farming. Got a whole lot of agriculture here. Oh, dear. Oh, right. We do have... Hmm. We do have one more photo. Given that the last two have significantly increased pressure, I feel like this one might also significantly increase pressure, which seems like, uh, bad. So, uh, let's see if we can do something about that, maybe? Don't be fooled by the Durin's love of brewing spirits and drinking. Their alcohol tolerance was actually pretty bad. When I had no money to eat, see the fancy meal, I mean, I made a bet with the Durns. If I could drink more mead than them, they'd have to treat me to a week's worth of bento boxes. I lost to their president in the end, but there were already 10 plus Durns on the ground then. <laughs> Alright. So, will we be destroyed by pressure? No adults dream. Huh? What do you mean? Keeper of the cradle? Are you a medic that can help people sleep well? Uh, that's great. Can you recommend me some met methods to try out? Alright, we have increased pressure, which is perhaps not what we desired. But maybe this uh, random result will dramatically decrease pressure, and uh, you official will not explode like a kettle that has been plugged up. A tea kettle, perhaps even. Alright, so... Our last photo of the day. 
an ordinary photo. Yikes, I gave myself a scare. I did say I'll definitely bring the goods. Uh, the footage may seem mediocre, but actually there's a hidden message, and the concept is super deep, so it lingers in your mind. Alright, pressure decrease. Nice. Okay, okay. Uh, actually, click since I handed to help me get these plushies from a secondhand shop. Mm, I'll stop pretending. They're from a secondhand store. So what if they're secondhand? Second plush, secondhand plushies are still cute. Alright, we're good. We haven't exploded. We haven't maxed out revenue or response, but we haven't exploded either, so that's nice. Streamer U has awakened to the true meaning of live streaming, and another message that I didn't see. Alright. The, the ultimate beautiful girl, your daily took era photo parade. Real, not fake. The live stream has ended. See you next time. We did it. We have streamed. In a certain place, in a certain city, on a certain month and year, there was a streamer by the name of You Official, commonly known as Streamer You. She was extraordinarily ordinary. She didn't do anything wild, just as she had assured Click, but in the process also missed out on a lot of opportunities that would have given her a spotlight on the intercity net. She just did her ordinary thing in her rental unit, rolling out of bed, eating, Dreaming, going offline, going to sleep. This music is downright dire for <laughs> an extraordinarily ordinary situation, I must say. Tomorrow's my 100 day anniversary, but I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. If clicks get still hate again for some reason or other, or if Rhodes Island doesn't want me anymore, what do I do then? I've been cooped up in my room forever. Maybe it's time to go outside and touch some grass. I have a hunch that if it's that senpai, he'll be able to give me my answers. So, Streamer Yu staggered out the door without a clue as to where she's going. She resigns herself to fate and her own two legs, letting them take her on a journey nobody has ever gone on before. She seemed to cross streets and alleyways. She seemed to cross massive mountains and raging rivers. She seemed to walk all the way from the polar tundra to the Foen hotlands. She seemed to step into the heavens towards the stars. Yet, she also seemed to go in circles around a dark alley. She didn't know who she was looking for or where he might be. But in the end, she still found him. You... you must be that senpai. Mm-hmm. Streamer Yu has little recollection of what happened afterwards, only that she remembers talking with that respected senpai for a while. About what? She can't exactly recall. Coupled with the fact that she received the invitation letter and video from Click as soon as she got home, she quickly put the matter behind her. Several months later. The results of your physical exam have come back, Miss Eureka. You're not infected and you're basically in perfect health. Is Click here? Where's she staying? Operator Click was planning to come see you, but an urgent mission came up yesterday and she had to leave for field work. Okay. I heard her mention that you used to be a streamer on the Intercity Net before coming to Rhodes Island. That must have been a ton of fun. Uh, about that. Just as she was finding the words, Eureka suddenly thinks back to the conversation she had with the senpai back then. You... you must be that senpai. Mm-hmm. Uh, senpai, I don't think I can do this anymore. I don't think I'm cut out to be a streamer. Mm-hmm. Click never came to see me. What if I can't go to Rhodes Island like she said? Mm-hmm. Also, my mood's all over the place. I can't tell if my fans love or hate me. And the profits I get from the platform are like a roller coaster as well. There were a few times I even felt like I was about to do something stupid. Mm-hmm. Senpai, say something. 
Lear's throat. When it comes to the matter of your future as a streamer, I'd recommend you stop messing around. You're never going to make it with this gig. You should get up. Maybe you've got a better shot as a tour guide. A tour guide? As for your second question, whether or not you can go to Rose Island. Hold on a sec. You haven't even told me why I can't be a streamer anymore. Simmer down. Of course, you can go to Rhodes Island. But why is that? Because if you don't, there's going to be a lot of nasty people knocking on my door. Why? If people are trying to mess with you, I won't let them hear the end of it. Uh, it's not a big deal. At least, it shouldn't matter to you. As for your third question, regarding why you feel as if some things are always changing, do you think that everything you've experienced is real? Real? Why wouldn't it be? For example, can we definitively say that we aren't just puppets of a higher will? Puppets of a higher will? I mean, of course we aren't. But if it is capable of controlling your every thought and action, it wouldn't even permit you to contemplate whether or not you're truly free. Even more terrifying, it might even allow you to think that you do have free will. However, it will also let you eternally seek the answer without a conclusion. You'll only be able to speculate as to whether this higher will exists, but we'll never know for sure. Uh, wait, Senpai? Are you that higher will? Uh, how could you do this to me? What reason do you have to believe that I am this higher will, rather than the platform, your fans, the pressure in your heart, or some other puppet master manipulating all these things? Uh, I don't think I can keep up with this convo anymore. Who knows? Maybe there's an even higher will beyond the first one. My will is a higher level of existence than yours. Who is the will above mine? And if there's another higher will above that one, can there ever be an end? Does it extend ad infinitum, or stop at a certain point? Or is it an Ouroboros, with neither beginning nor end? You may think yourself my puppet, but who knows? It may be the case that the puppet of your puppet of your puppet could be of the unchallengeable higher will above my head. About that, Senpai, I'm here to ask you to bail, bail out my miserable existence, not to go on about some philosophical nonsense. You have no swag. None at all. <laughs> what do you mean by swag? I'm starting to think that you're the actual poser here. Oh, and I didn't realize it until now, but what's the deal with your getup? Your whole flower garland and floral print shirt? Are you dressing up like someone from the Souls just to mess with my head? Could it be... That you're not my senpai from the live streaming industry at all, but rather some fraudster here to scam me? Fraudster? That's right. I am the man who scammed everyone and everything with a simple all. To correct your misconception, I will make an exception and send you an all, too. Go and experience all your bad endings in turn. No! <laughs> Miss Eureka? She hears choirs of angels singing. Medic, could you fetch me a cup of tea? Right away. <laughs> what happened just now? Was live streaming really that painful for you? She gestures to start speaking. Eureka opens her mouth. She holds cheek, her cheek with a gesturing hand. She shifts her eyes around. She hesitates to speak. Um, Miss Eureka? <sighs> it's really hard to explain, but I think my brain just short-circuited like the flash of my camera. I guess uh, it wasn't good, but it wasn't bad either. So-so, that's about it. Oh. Sip. By the way, while my head was going completely kaput just now, I vaguely remember hearing that I'm supposed to become a tour guide in the future. Does Rhodes Island have any openings like that? Hmm, there was actually an operator who used to work as a tour guide. Really? What were they like? Man or woman? Cute or not? 
he was a blonde from Dos Souls, uh, codenamed Tequila. His real name is uh, uh, Ernesto Salas. No. Yes, a lot going on here that relates to other events that have gone on, uh, but I don't really know anything about that, to be honest. So we're just going to have to take it as it goes. We might come back to this once we've seen some of those events. I know vaguely what they're referring to. I've seen this character before. And now we will see her again. Behold. Indeed. Yes. <clears throat> she is a one-star operator who isn't a robot, which is somewhat remarkable. Though, of course, the Terra... Ter yeah. You know, those guys. <laughs> Terra Research Commission are also that. Oh, yes. Anyway, we have acquired one additional creature. Creature? That's a weird way to phrase it, but okay. <laughs> uh... What better way to uh, learn how to stream again than by helping someone else learn how to stream? So yes, given what we've just seen there, presumably we can get alternate endings, and indeed, uh, perhaps we should try to get alternate endings. So yes, so we'll probably have time for one or two more, maybe, maybe even more, who knows? So yes, so I'm assuming that these uh, additional tasks will give me uh, additional benefits, or presumably, you know, additional copies of uh, Eureka. Alright. So yeah, so it seems like we've only got the three stages, other than the tutorial stage, which was not necessary for me to restart. Mostly I was just kind of curious because it was blanked out, so I... That's weird. But yeah, so it was blanked out, so I assumed that maybe it... Uh, wasn't playable again or something. Yes, now we've got to deal with this. Will this? Can I? Can I not? Hmm. All right. It seems that I can't not. All right. So we've got to live through this again. But at least we can speed it up. Yes, I know that there is a point where the game will uh, point out that you can leave, so maybe we can leave once that point arrives. Alright, yes, yes, once again, Candle Knight. Photograph. Don't want to put on that guy. Alright, are we good? Hmm. I think we're past the point where we uh, were told about how to exit, so it would seem that we uh, can't exit before completing this tutorial. Oh well. That's on me for starting it again, I suppose. Alright, anyway. Let's play an actual stage and get an actual other ending. So yeah, so presumably they have to do with the stats. So, perhaps rather than deliberately trying to avoid, uh, yeah, trying to avoid going over on anything, maybe we should try to go over, or perhaps even under, on various things. I didn't see how many bad ending images there were, but considering that nothing was maxed out, and nothing was empty, presumably having things high or low enough will impact the outcome. So let's, uh, I suppose, then subject uh, Eureka to unlimited suffering and just sort of see how that treats her. The answer is poorly, but you know. Ah, right, I forgot that we need to spend some time preparing to take the photo. You can't just take one willy-nilly. Cool, all right. Hmm. All right, I do feel like we're going to... 
miss an opportunity here, I, perhaps, but you know, we'll see how this treats us. Oh no, we're good. Everything's perfect. Nope, it's only perfect if I actually take the photo. There we go. Nice. And we will reposition and try to get a photo of this odd fellow here. Wonder what his deal could be. I'm sure we won't see him again, though. More photos. And we've got a, an enemy coming our way. He looks like he's about to interact with someone, so maybe we can get something good out of that. But maybe he's just going to stay where he is. Oh no, here we go. That's something. Nice. And you've got another interesting looking fellow coming our way as well. Will he cross paths with us? Oh! He'll cross paths with the other guy, apparently. Hmm. I might have jumped the gun there, too, a little bit. Well, we do have, like, a lot of photos, so... You're not doing too bad, I suppose. What? How are we doing? We've got a lot of mediocre photos. But we've also got some good photos, so we can probably use those for something. Ah, that's a thing. I suppose that I can't really predict where the thing is going to be, necessarily, just from its existence. Ah, ah, we're missing an opportunity to see Hoshiguma in action. That's no good. Hmm. Hmm, that old man down there seems unremarkable. But yeah, so we're not going to see Hoshiguma doing her defender thing, but we might just see her existing, so that's nice. Let's see, can... Hmm, how do we want to swing this? Well, that was at least something. Alright, alright. Seems to be going upwards, this individual, but maybe not. Um, will Eureka be able to take another photo in time? Or will this old man slip between her fingers? There we go. So yeah, we definitely haven't captured everything of note, I don't think. But we got a lot of good photos. Alright, time's up. That should do us pretty well. Kindly old grandpa out on a stroll. Hello, hello! Welcome all new faces and welcome back old faces! I'm just hiding, uh, no, the ultimate beautiful girl runaway streamer you. I'm streamer you, okay? Don't mistake me for anybody else. I don't know who the, who's the unlucky TV host you're talking about. Pay attention. This is the ultimate beautiful girl. Daily wonders on Terra, non-stop. And next, streamer you will show you. Let me see which one was it. All right. So, singing idol, kindly old grandpa out on a stroll. Crazy Drunkard. Officer for Protecting Civilians. Handsome Lady, that's fun. Library on Business Trip. Ursus with Fluffy Ears. Alright, I suppose let's, uh, let's start out with... Actually, let's see. We've got a good amount of pressure right now. So maybe let's, uh, let's see about maxing that out by the end here. Hmm. I can definitely... We've got ways to increase it significantly, guaranteed. And we've also got ways to significantly decrease it. In fact, most of these will decrease it. Did I say pressure? No, that's not pressure. The, the pink one is pressure, right. So yeah, so I... Given what we experienced last time, I don't think... 
maxing something out will like immediately end the stream. So yeah, I think we'll, I don't know, we'll start with decreasing the, that was audience response, I think. Yeah, audience response, and then we'll, yeah. Start out decreasing audience response, then max it out towards the end, I think. What's with all the weird Liberia around here lately? Of all the weird Liberia streamer you have seen, this is number two. I've seen him in a rush with other people before out on the streets. He runs as fast as number one, and I couldn't make him stop. But what he says really makes you want to beat him up. If he didn't have a bodyguard beside him, he probably could run from Yan to Sargon in a day. All right. Fan response decreased. I know you're lying, Fira. You were here for the last stream. You've also got the She Just Bail button. So that could be interesting. Yeah, none of these UI elements seem to be interactable. So I suppose we've just got to wait out, uh, wait out her lines here. All right, so it is time to showcase a handsome lady on stream. This lady is so handsome and so tall. Would she actually be a handsome guy with long hair? One thing you'll learn about you, uh, hold on. If you think she's handsome, type handsome in chat. I asked around before, this is an employee of the LGD and apparently they've been working there for a real long. Who, who said her weapon looks like an electric fan? I see you haven't seen her when she's truly angry. Well, I haven't either. <laughs> Keep forgetting about those super chats. I can't be this uh, this irresponsible. All right, never mind. It seems that you can uh, immediately <laughs> immediately lose the stream if something goes terribly wrong. So we just kind of got lucky last time. All right, you have a bit of advice from Conviction's favorite episode. All right, so nobody liked this stream. <laughs> they hated it so much. The handsome lady was too much for them. In a certain place, in a certain city, on a certain month and year, there was a live streamer by the name of You Official, commonly known as Streamer You. She had her future mapped out in meticulous detail and was already taking steps to bring her plans to fruition. She was not asking for much. All she wanted was to keep her stream's popularity up and her loans at a manageable level until Click returned or she heard back from Rhodes Island. But, with Click acknowledging she had what it takes to, took to gain a foothold in the streaming world, even if she didn't try too hard, things were still bound to work out, right? With that in mind, she started streaming. Her streaming style was spontaneous, carefree, and to her heart's content. When she got sick of a game, she started playing another. When she got tired of singing, she stopped right there and then. When she got bored of chatting, she cut off the stream. While there are those who like that sort of streamer, most people don't watch streams to see how selfish, temperamental, or irresponsible the streamer can be. Let me believe... <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, this streamer never responds to her super chats. And thus, in a small corner of the nomadic city, Streamer Yu's first hater was born. After that, her legion of haters grew exponentially, and it wasn't long before they took over the chat. This is very pleasant music for what is uh, otherwise a somewhat dire situation. At first, she did not waver in the face of all the malicious comments in chat. She thought the haters were nothing unmanageable, but then reality dealt her a merciless blow. Yo, streamer, you have a delivery coming up, huh? Jeez, chat, what's with the mysterious language all of a sudden? Hello, you've got a package. Uh, please sign for it. It was a letter. Streamer, you opened the envelope to find her personal information spelled out with letters cut from all kinds of publications. Combined with the message in the chat, the letter's meaning could not be clearer. We know who you are. After that, worse and worse things started being delivered to her. But Streamer Yu, unshielding as she is, unyielding as she is, was not going to bow and scrape before the haters. She could confront them head on and keep streaming. 
All right, guys, let's see how many packages I've got from our passionate fans yesterday. Three. Let me show you guys. First one, a threatening letter. Streamer you, if you keep streaming, I can't read this. You will find your... Find my what? I can barely read any of this. What kind of terrible handwriting is this? If you ask me, you should go back to school to learn how to write again. Next up, an order of 10 premium thin sashimi bentos that a fan so thoughtfully ordered for me to be paid on delivery. Too bad it never even got delivered. You guys should really come up with some new ideas. All the delivery guys around here know about your antics already. And finally, ta-da! A whole box of Originium slugs. All the haters' extreme actions did was reinforce her strong, tragic character. And it even led to a slow but steady increase in the number of donations. This had them restless and agitated. Finally, they started to go to her apartment to spray graffiti and dump trash and wastewater everywhere. They even stuffed chewing gum into her door's keyhole. Faced with this onslaught, Shrim Ryu finally found herself on the defensive. Her hair was getting messier and messier by the stream. Sometimes she had bags under her eyes. Every now and then, she went on cam looking absolutely filthy. She even stopped doing her hater delivery unboxing segments. It might be kind of fun to watch a streamer un unbox a bunch of Originium slugs, but nobody wants to keep watching a streamer show all the cuss words graffitied onto their front door. The haters rejoiced. They knew that her end was near. Next up, we've got Streamer Yu's traveling around Terra. Eh. <laughs> After nights of work setting up that trap on the second floor, I've finally caught the hater that's been causing trouble here. You're the jerk who's been who blocked my key, doorknob's keyhole with gum, aren't you? No, you're mistaken. Shut it with your flapping. Come inside with me. Let's teach you a lesson in front of everyone. This punch is for the chewing gum. This punch is for the originium slugs. This frying pan is for the premium sashimi bento. You know how much it hurt when I turned the delivery guy away? That's a premium sashimi bento. I've never even had one. Do you know? Do you know? When the delivery guy held the bento out to me, how freaking delicious it looked. <clears throat> Hold on. Is this a bento? It's all over the floor. Are these sashimi? I couldn't just sit and watch those haters keep bullying you, you Chen. So I thought, <laughs> since they kept ordering all these bento you had to turn away, I'd make sure to, you got to taste what they thought you'd never be able to have. I mean, you Chan, I'm... Your number one, Stan. What? Shrimmy Yu watched her heartbroken Stan scamper out the door and found herself unable to, even, to say even a word for the better part of the day. Dejected, she at last made it back to her terminal. She brought a cup of water to her mouth with her trembling hand, and not a moment later, she noticed the pop-up notice on her screen. Based on a review of your content, infringing content, violence, and your continued disregard for our community moderator's warnings, your access to our services has been suspended. If you have any questions, please contact platform management. Sit. We wish you a pleasant day. All right, we have finished two live streams. Ooh. Streamer you stream clips used to increase you, you officials' trust. A storage device with recordings of the most wonderful live stream moments can be used to raise the trust of you official. That's nifty. All right. You officials folder, a folder with handwritten notes inside, used to obtain you official for the first time and, subs and subsequently improve the potential of you official. A bunch of papers recording the streamer's various experiences in acute handwriting. The one flipped over becomes a map of a nomadic city with detailed markings noting the frequency of debt collectors showing up. Alright, so, I suppose we'll wrap the things up for right now. We've gotten to the end of the, the time that I had allotted for myself. 
There we are. So, it has been fun. Yeah, it's good to be doing a, a normal stream again. Yesterday's stream was kind of weird in a lot of ways. <laughs> To the point where I'm not 100% sure that I want to uh, upload it to the VOD channel on YouTube, but such is my fate, so I will. Uh, anyway, so, let's see. Um, once again, tomorrow we're expecting, or I'm expecting rather, to be able to start a little bit earlier. So I will start as soon as I can, and we'll just sort of see how this goes. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll try to get all of the endings. Uh, now that we know that we can get them pretty quickly if we aim for them. But yes, so I'll try to get all of the endings, I'll try to get all of the live stream tasks, and whatever we can do, we'll do, and whatever we can't do, uh, we won't do, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to have enough time to be able to do the rest of them, necessarily, the rest of the April events. So I might... I might record footage of them and just sort of do commentary over top of that if I don't have time. Or I might not, who knows. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It will depend on how much time I have over the weekend. But yes, one way or another though, it is time to wrap up for tonight. And so, as is customary, we shall resume the tradition of the... Eh, eh. We will continue the tradition of the raid. But yes, tonight, I think we will go and visit Svela Prisera, who is playing a Legend of Zelda game, um, Majora's Mask. Oh, nice. That's one that I'm particularly fond of. I suppose it's one that a lot of people are particularly fond of, I've, from what I understand. But yes, one way or another, though. Raid. Hello, Prisera. Hello, VTuber. Valkyrie VTuber. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say here. <laughs> so, once again, I suppose, before we get uh, into that, I wanted to uh, thank you all for your patience with me during my uh, absence. I haven't been able to really address it quite as well as I would like to, as articulately, or as... Um, just, like, I don't know. I haven't been able to... It's been weird. It's been weird. <laughs> But yeah, it's been a very long time since I was ner since I've been nervous streaming. But uh, yeah, these past few days I have definitely been today and yesterday, just because it was just became something that was just so weird to me, and I had built up such an image in my head that you know this was gonna be a big thing. But you know, it's kind of business as usual, to be honest. Yeah, a whole lot of catastrophizing for a pretty you know normal mundane. Uh, everyday stream in the end so anyway i suppose that can be taken as a lesson to not get in your own head too much but yes anyway so raid develop for sarah the customary raid message is as always we have arrived arrived there we are and so thank you all for being here tonight i hope that you have had a fine night I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night, and I hope that you will be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>